just getting started over here in Colorado. We've got uh, Logan Hand from Nevada, a few other guys out here. We're out here looking for big bucks, huh, Logan? Yeah. What do you think? Well, I'm ready for you to find about a 190 inch deer job. I'm waiting for you <laughs> to find it. I'm just, I'm just, I'm just here for the excitement, buddy. See, this no, we've, uh, it's third season out here and it's, uh, we're out here hunting with Bull Basin and, you know, as you can tell from how we're dressed, it's been warm. Um, it's been in the 50s, 60s. We're hoping for a big storm tonight, which is what the weather is calling for. And hopefully it'll drive that big 200 inch buck out of the dark timber you're waiting yep. for, huh? That'd be nice. <laughs> We're seeing a lot of deer right here. We just need to find a buck. We want it. It's always been open. Yep. Like we said, snow is on the way and here it is. Hopefully this is a recipe for big bucks. We're hunting kind of down oh, around 8,000 feet elevation, but just above us is a lot of dark black timber and thick quaking ass uh, groves. So usually when we get a lot of when they get a lot of snow out here, it'll drive those deer out of the high country down into this area. It's perfect. Lots of sagebrush for them if they have everything they need here. There's plenty of deer now. We just need some big old freaking freak nasty bucks, huh, Logan? Big toads. That's it. The big old toads. We haven't been hunting very long, but what do you think so far? That's oh, awesome. That's what good. I come to Colorado for. Good looking country, huh? A lot of deer. Yep. It's awesome country. Uh, oh, yeah. It's probably a two or three point. Let's see what goes up on the wall. snow we wanted it's nice and cold snowy hopefully kicking these bucks into the rut now we just got to find one for Logan and we'll be in great shape right here and see if it's something that Logan wants to drop the hammer on. He's shooting a 6.5 284 today, so it's a flat deer killing machine. By the way, I'm hunting with my good friend, John Mobile in Colorado, third season. Stocking up on a big buck. I'm gonna go kill this thing, okay? Thank God we had enough time to get a me good, to get calmed down and you get had a, a good, good shot. And, right there, yeah. beautiful buck, man. He's cool, a yeah, big five by seven. He's awesome. Woo -hoo -hoo. Logan just put the old smack down. He put uh, some fierce in him with a Barnes bullet and it's over, baby. Boom. Yep. Oh, check out that buck. Yeah. That is, I mean, we had a good chance to look him over. The other guys spotted him late last night and we knew he was in this area. When you first saw him, you got a little excited. You yeah. saw those inlines, huh? Yeah, I like that different stuff. You know, those extra points there. Yeah. It's yeah. a good looking buck. He's got a extra kicker here, yeah. extra kicker inline here, forks off the top. Just a really cool buck here in Colorado. 
Yep. Third fun. season, rifle, good weather, morning. good friends, all went down good. Pretty fun <laughs> this morning, yeah. huh? Got a nice little stock, yeah. worked out perfect. Got okay. within what? 90 yards? 90 yards, you drilled him, but it, yards? it was thick right there. Yeah, it him was. Out. So, yeah. uh, congratulations. Almost tried to shot through those trees, but I'm glad you talked me out of it. <laughs> <laughs> we got some other buddies up here hunting, so now I guess we get to do some glassing, yep. huh? That sounds good. Now yeah. I get to play. Yeah, sweet. <laughs> good. Fierce firearms, ferocious performance, deadly accurate. So Keith, how's the day been going? It's been going pretty good. We've seen a lot of a uh, lot of does, a couple bucks, right over there on that ridge actually. A little slow, nothing, no shooters yet. It's uh, it's what about 11 o'clock right now. We should be back in for lunch, but you know what? We're not. We're just gonna keep trucking along, winter, snow, and uh, these bucks are always on the move, so they're starting to get a little ruddy, but hopefully they'll get more. We had some good snow last night, and uh, just creeping along, just have all these little shooters right here. Right there. There's two bucks up on top. Which one? The top one? Top one. He's the top one. I'm gonna take him. You got him? I'm on him. I'm on him. Whenever you're ready. I'm gonna shoot. Here we go. He's down. He's, He's down. down. He dropped like a second. He's not going anywhere. Oh, baby. <laughs> <clears throat> Woo! Oh my gosh. He's by far the biggest we've seen today. Yeah, for sure. So, good job. For sure. Well, Keith did it. He just laid the hammer down on an awesome Colorado buck. First buck in Colorado, right? First Colorado buck. Yes. Holy cow, and it happened just like that. It sure did. We came through those trees, and there they were. We were in the truck just covering ground, covering ground, and just in between two little sets of pine trees. So right in the edge of them, and man. Now lady, work begins. Lady Luck was on our side. Now we got to hike up that bad boy. It was about, what, 250, 300 yards? Yeah, uh, I had him at 305. And it's earlier. straight up too, so don't kid yourself. That's gonna be a leg workout. Good thing that I do the Stairmaster twice a day. Come on now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes. But I'll tell you what, Courtney, I don't know if this is the same buck because we never saw any of this, all these kickers and one, two, three, four, five, plus kickers and two, three, four, five and kickers over here. We didn't see all that until we were down here on the road and once I saw these kickers, I said, I'm gonna shoot him. As luck will have it, he started walking right about then and we had to, we had to what? Walk about another 150 yards and he was up here still just mowing around and and uh, took the shot, put him down. Great Colorado buck. He's not the widest buck, but man, he's tall. I look at all these, all that great stuff. <laughs> he's a dandy. <laughs> That's a great buck. I'm, I'm absolutely thrilled with him. Absolutely thrilled. Awesome. Thank you for watching this week's episode of The Fierce Life. Please join us again next week for more exciting action.